think I'm live. Let me just share it with some people. Hi everybody, it's Sophia here from IncreaseSocialReach.com and today I've been invited by Rene to um, come over and talk to your group about uh, my concept of planning. So a little bit about me, okay, I'm originally from Portugal but I've been living in the UK about 20 years now and I've um, started my own business about two years ago okay and before I was working um, as a strategic buyer a purchasing manager and different industries so planning is in uh, my skin <laughs> it's um, it's all we do okay so if there's anybody here that is not planning please I want to chat with you because we always plan even when uh, people say that, you know, oh, no, no, I don't plan. I do everything, um, you know, by the spur of the moment. Um, it's not true. We all plan, okay? Um, we plan when we go on holiday. We plan when we take our children to school. We plan our day. We plan our week. We plan our year. And um, this is what I do with my clients we um, get together and we look at their mission, their vision, their objectives for the whole year and we plan and put things in place that um, might work, might not work, okay? So, hi Renee, it's lovely to be here. Um, so, planning. So, I just, I just asked quickly, um, you know, if you are planning, uh, please let me know in the comments. I would like to know how you plan, if you are planning, um, how you plan and if it really helps you to plan, really. Um, so planning for me um, has always been um, primary, basically. And, uh, you know, uh, from a corporate world, being, you know, being from a corporate world, we all have to... Um, we all have to sit down and, with our teams and plan our accounts and everything else so so that everybody knows what who's doing what and what's the objectives and the goal that we um we want to achieve okay so um we all know as well that um for some uh, planning is quite boring planning is um boring because you have to actually you know sit down and document everything that you have coming um in your business and in your life as well um and the thing about planning is that we need to document it okay planning can't just um be in your head um i've got a message <laughs> Um, planning can't just be in your head and you just kind of wing it every day. Um, it's got to be documented and it's got to be, um, you know, according to um, specific um, objectives, okay? So what I do when I plan is... <clears throat> what I do when I plan is um, I look at what's the end goal for me for my business for my life and this you plan it as well in stages okay so you uh you have to plan it not just for the business not for the life for your physic physical well-being your spiritual well-being everything else okay um so what i do is i look at my end goal what do i want to achieve and then i reverse that end goal right those results that i want to achieve i reverse them and i break them down and i'm sure all of you must have heard of smart objectives okay so smart being um specific measurable attainable realistic and timely Okay, we all know about the SMART objectives. And this 
the SMART objectives is just a way of breaking down your end goal, okay? So, um, but I've been, you know, I've been talking with a lot of um, people, uh, with the, um, some clients and prospects, and um, the just the idea of a SMART goal, um, SMART objective in breaking it down, it just scares them a lot. Um, don't disregard it, okay? You can't disregard breaking down the goal. Because by breaking down the goal, you're really going to be, um, you know, specific on what you want. And, and then you can put some strategies in place that you're going to achieve that end goal. So one way of um, kind of making it more interesting is um, going from smart to sexy goals. Okay, what do I mean by sexy goals? Um, sexy goals is a concept that I've, um, you know, started um, just by um, listening to what other people, how they actually perceive the goals and how they um, treat the goals. So um, the concept of sexy goals is, okay, so sexy, um, the S means scream. Okay, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna see it there, but it's um the other way around. Um, so scream. What do I mean by scream about your goals? Okay, I don't know if anybody here would agree with me, but when I shout about my goals, okay, when I um, what I do is I get an accountability partner, and I shout about my goals because, um. When you just get that goal out of your head and shout about it, you're going to be so, so um, more in tune with it and you're going to believe it so much, okay? Um, I know that, for example, a lot of people, um, first thing they do in the morning is, you know, I am awesome, I am amazing, I am very powerful. So they kind of shout about what they want, um, they you know, their goals, their physical goals, you know, I am healthy, I am, um, you know, I am, um, my, bu my business is um, thriving. So um, when you shout about all those things, it makes you feel like you are powerful and you are able to achieve those goals. Um, one thing about screaming, uh, when I say about screaming about the goals um one thing that really scares a lot of people is the income goals okay so screaming about your income goals um it's kind of scary for a lot of you because you don't know people to kind of um you don't want people to know what your income goals are and they probably think that um you're not really being realistic about them okay so one thing that i did in the beginning of this year is actually i screamed and not just screamed about my income goal but i doubled my income goal because at the end of the day okay um at the end of the day if you don't achieve that income goal that i've doubled if i don't achieve that income goal that i doubled but i actually achieve just 50 percent of it i'll be so happy that I've actually achieved 50% of it. So I'm going for that huge income goal, but if I achieve just 50% of it, I'll be very, very happy with it. So the um, E of the sex goals is excel. Excel in everything that you do and um, make your goals a very, very, you know, challenging and challenge yourself, surpass, surpass yourself and what, whatever you do, whatever you want to achieve. Um, and make them challenging because one, one, once you make the goal challenging, you kind of like challenging yourself as well. Um, the X 
for the sexy goals um, word is x-ray x-ray to the bare bone so when um, I say x-ray I'm also using the smart goals that I've talked about before because on the smart goals that's where you're gonna x-ray everything you're gonna make them specific you know you're gonna ask your six what six whys um, the uh, who um, what, when, where, which, and why. And you're going to make it measurable. So in this x-ray area, that's where you're going to kind of drill down on your end goal, on your, on your, what you actually want to achieve at the end. And you're going to drill, drill down and make them smart. Hi, I can't say your name, uh, Petra, Petra. <laughs> um, so, so I was going to, the X is for X-ray, you know, you're going to X-ray and dig very deep inside your goals. And once you dig inside your goals, um, there are probably things that are going to come out, come up that you might not need. Um, or maybe your targets for that specific goal uh, is not realistic. So um, deadlines are not realistic, for example, or um, the target of whatever the goal is is not realistic. So you, you can change it. When you're drilling down, you can change that goal. Um, and the, finally, the why for um, the sexy goals um, word is why is for you. You, it, you are the person that is going to achieve those goals, okay? So, um, nobody else can achieve those goals for you. You are the only one that will be able to achieve the goals that you set for yourself. So, this um, you, <laughs> it's really, really important because um, you, need to feel, you need to feel good doing it. You need to feel good um, about what you're trying to achieve and um, because your passion will come through as well uh, in your mission to achieve those goals. So that is, um, that is the concept, you know, the uh, sexy goals. Um, it's, it's all about planning and it's all about drilling down. And this is what I do. Um, this is what I've been doing throughout corporate and... Um, I feel, for me at least, and you know, I work with people that are that like this concept because it it just makes it more interesting to um, to go out there and actually put the strategies in place and the tactics in place. Um, this is um, part of. I don't know if anybody has any questions whatsoever so far. Um, if you're watching the replay, please put it on the comments and I can come back and um, reply, you know, answer to the questions that you might have. Um, I'd like to know, Rene, do you, do you plan at all? Do you have a set plan that um, for, you know, for 2017? Please let me know in the comments if you can. And Petra as well, if you plan as well, let me know in the comments um, if you have... To, you know, if any of you um, actually done any planning before um, or you just wing it. <laughs> I've, I was actually just uh, reading a post uh, before somebody's asked, you know, do you plan or do you wing it? And I just had to quickly respond to it because I'm just so passionate about it. You know, you just can't, you just can't wing it. You know, winging, winging is for birds. Um, and I, I just... I plan everything, you know, I plan, you plan your meals that you do, you know, you plan it because you need to go to the, to the, to the supermarket and buy the groceries and, and the meals and all the ingredients and everything. So everything is planning. Um, I plan when I go on a trip. I plan when I go into a conference or a seminar, you know, you need to plan, you need to buy your tickets uh, for your train, you know. <laughs> 30 goal and weekly plan. Fantastic. Yes. Um, so also what I want to add to that, Rene, is um, when I plan, I plan it like 
every quarter okay and I've got an actual actual planner that I use with my members and what we do the actual planner is for the whole year but so they don't get too overwhelmed with it we are looking at quarter by quarter okay and what that does is that <laughs> and what that does is that you are planning quarter by quarter and you're revising what has worked and what hasn't worked so that you can ditch what hasn't worked and you can do more of what or, or what it actually worked okay so there is a section in my action planner as well that you have like um you know exactly what you have done what strategies you put in put in place for like january for february and for march so Petra is saying i'll have a loose plan that involves monthly deadlines and year deadlines see more Wait a minute. i plan a lot but i build in flexibility i focus mostly on 90 day increments and special uh, spe especially the current 30 days that's right so yeah so that's what I was saying just concentrate on each quarter so like for example beginning of end of December I looked at everything that I had for the, the, the next quarter January February March okay I put it on my planner okay and this will help you with creating a content as well for your social media this will help you with, um, you know, creating like themes, um, maybe um, contacting partners to collaborate with, um, you know, talks that you might have throughout that quarter. So all of that, it needs to go in it. For me, it all goes in it. So, for example, I've got uh, a conference uh, seminar at the end of March that's there. You know, what do I need to prepare to to get to that, to be in that seminar? And who do I need to contact to be in that seminar as well? Also, I have um, not just uh, my business things, but also what my kids are doing in school. And um, do I need to attend any of the school meetings? Uh, do I need to attend every you know events um locally so everything is there quarterly so what i do then is um i've got like priorities so you know um what is what is most important to do when first blah 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 and after that i've got i revise it okay so i i completely um i have like notes of what strategies are put in place or what has been cancelled, why it's been cancelled, any follow-up emails that I need to do, any um, meetings that I need to arrange. So it's all there. So, um, yeah. So we're all good. You're all good. You're all planning. That's amazing. Um, so this is part, the, the planning is part of... Um, a program that I run, which is the Master Your Media Social uh, Lounge program, which is a six weeks program. And planning is the first thing that I do in the first week. OK, um, it needs for me it needs to be the first thing because you, you need to be in tune with your mission, with your vision, with your objectives and each goal for each um, um, social media channel sort of thing. Um, so this is part of the Master Your Media, uh, Master Your Media Social Lounge program that I have coming as well. So I've put a link up the top as well if you want to have a look of what the program entails. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please, please contact me. And I'll be very, very happy to help you out. Um, so I don't know what else. Um, I think... Um, the, I think this is it, Renee, um, for what I um, wanted to, to show you today was just the my concept of, uh, you know, just not planning smart um, objectives, 
but also um, creating some sexy Scream, Excel, X-Ray and you. You just get on with it and you do it because you can. You, we all can do it. So that is, um, that is my uh, little pep talk about the Smart Sexy Goals. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please come and find me. I'm on um, increaseyoursocialreach.com and my page um, in, on Facebook. <laughs> Thanks for the hearts. My page on Facebook is uh, Increase Your Social Media Reach. So I'll put the links down below if you want me to. And please connect. I would love to know what everybody's doing. And if I can help any further, please let me know. It was lovely to be here and to help you all out. And I speak to you very, very soon. Thank you so much.